Hi everyone, welcome to another video in this series. In this particular video, we are going to understand how to execute the remaining steps even if a failure occurs in a test case. Now, just to understand with an example, for example, in this particular test case, I'm just logging in and then validating certain item on this particular page and then closing the browser. Let's say this particular verification step gets failed so any step after that does not get executed by default in tosca now even if the verification is failing and this particular browser is not closing in this particular case what would happen is your next test case is going to get affected so you should have a way to handle this particular condition in your test scripts now i'll just quickly run this to showcase that the last step does not get executed this is a sample application source demo application in which we are just logging in and validating one particular step. So if you log in, you see the step failed here. Now once this loads, let me show you. Here if you see, we are not able to, the next step is not getting executed because this particular step has failed. Okay. Now in case we want to execute the step, even if the failure occurs, how do we do that? So let me close this and uh, this i have purposefully failed i have put the wrong uh, validation here but how do we do that you go to test configuration and you need to first know which type of failure this is okay so this is a verification failure because what we are expecting is not matching but in case some other failure is happening on dialog failure accordingly you can update your script like that so here you have to just right click and click on test configuration parameter okay here if you will search I'll just put in on here and I'll put verification. So you will get this particular parameter on verification failure. Similarly, as you were seeing on dialog failure, same thing will be available here. Okay. Now here, if you click on the value by default, you'll see three particular options here. Do you want to continue or do you want to move to the next test case or do you want to recover? Okay. In this case, we wish to continue. So we'll click on continue here. Okay. Now, if it is a uh, dialog failure, you accordingly add that and similarly, whatever configuration is required. Okay. Now, let me just close this and re-execute this. Now, irrespective of whatever step is failing, it is going to execute the remaining steps. So, now you see the browser has got closed and we'll monitor the scratch book as well so here if you see your closed browser is also getting executed irrespective of the failure so this could be very helpful and uh, this could be one of the important interview questions as well thank you very much do follow along the series and i have other channels uh, other videos on my channel as well do check those out thank you very much have a great day bye bye